Two-wheelers, they're a popular means of transportation, particularly in Asia. As early as 2020, four out of five new two-wheelers with internal combustion engines will be sold in Asia. In India, for example, motorbikes with small engines are a means of mass transportation. They have to be cost-effective and robust. The Indian market for two-wheelers will double over the next few years. We have done about 14 million two-wheelers this year and we expect it to double to 28 million by the end of the decade. Bosch is entering the growing Asian market with new powertrain systems. These are specially designed for two-wheelers. Their centerpiece is electronic engine management. It brings digital intelligence to the two-wheeler realm. Compared with a carburetor, the electronically controlled fuel injection system can reduce fuel consumption by up to 16% and allows the bike to accelerate faster. The management system can also replace sensors with software, thus reducing maintenance costs. It also unlocks the possibility of smartphone connectivity. In India, we have a revolution, if you call, in smartphones. And uh, with a median population being more than 50% being less than 25 years, we foresee a huge increase in the use of smartphones in this segment. So giving a connectivity option would enable people to get more connected with the machine. Smartphones could be used as onboard computers and for diagnosing errors. An immobilizer is also a possibility in which injection and ignition could only be activated using the rider's own smartphone. With these new powertrain systems, Bosch is extending its portfolio for two-wheelers. Until now, this has primarily included safety solutions such as ABS and MSC, Motorcycle Stability Control, a type of ESP for two-wheelers. <laughs>